you a tumbling little stone, worked round by the ages, or perhaps a playful gust of wind, at most the lurchings of a dream, and I make no habit of chatting with dreams. I don't understand. You certainly don't. Are you a ghost? Not as you understand them. I never once died, never lost a flicker of a moment, never went slack. I am forever aware. That's the difference. Oh. We are the masters of ghostly living. We are the beings of willful ascension, the first and forever rulers of the ghostly realm. <laughs> Boo. Excuse me, please. I must continue my survey. Survey of what? The damages, the rot and the ruin. The sharp truth at the end of every rebellion. Pardon? Hold this. Visit the cut machine. See how it began. At least, the extent of their offense. You'll see plainly that we had no choice in the matter. A pebble? Yes. A pebble for a mountain. Stand on a mountain. The highest mountain. And swallow the pebble. Look up and dream of the cut machine. You'll see that our reaction was predictable and necessary. We sent the Roslock, the Stalkers, the Hunters. We have to break this world. Keep breaking until it settles into place. I still don't understand. You don't need to understand. It's nothing to do with you. In the end, you can dream whatever you like. Perhaps I'll put my arm around you. In the end, we can watch metal turn into light. This time, here.
to my card explorer, there is only joy. Only this moment. I've checked the figures, adjusted the lenses, initiated the sequence. I have vaporized brave Jezico's body, cut his spirit in three. A success. In this moment, always a success. The salmon part blinks. The construct part shudders. The ghost part drifts. The cut machine hums. Our work is forever. Leave or stay. It's the same thing.